Welcome to the Mariner of the Seas. This is Jason here. I'm going to do a full walkthrough tour. We're going to take this tour deck by deck. It's a really exciting ship. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start the tour here on the upper decks. I'm going to give you just a quick preview of deck 11. We're going to start right here at the gym. We're going to come right on out and to the left is the solarium bar and the solarium pool. Straight ahead here is the main pool area. All the way toward the back over to the right is the boardwalk doghouse. And all the way here to the back is the wind jammer buffet. We're going to head on back to the main pool area and start the tour right there. Here in the main pool area, you're going to find two pools. There's one on either side. There are also four whirlpools. So on the right side, you're going to find a pool with a couple of whirlpools in the middle. Right in between both of the pools, there is a little walkway which will take you to the whirlpools on the right side. And then on the other side, there is another pool. Those whirlpools are right on the edge of the pool. Here in the main pool area, you can enjoy many activities such as a volleyball contest with the crew, live music, movies under the stars, and sporting events on that big screen right there. Also, when you get thirsty, this is perfect. There is a pool bar right here at the end of the pool. It's an excellent spot to relax, grab a margarita, sit back, lie in the sun, and catch some rays. We really like the live music on sea days, so just keep in mind that when you are on the sea, you're going to enjoy a lot of action in this area. There is also a bar right above the pool bar. This is the Sky Lounge. There is plenty of loungers, places to sit, couches. It's another fun area to relax and enjoy. Over here is the dog house. The hot dogs are included in your cruise fare and there are many different types. They have sausages, Polish sausages, and regular hot dogs. Right over here is the Windjammer Buffet. When you first walk in, you're gonna go right in to the Plaza Bar. The Plaza Bar serves specialty coffees, smoothies, and a full bar menu. Windjammer Buffet goes all the way around the back of the ship. It is humongous and it is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The Mariner of the Seas is part of the Voyager class. There are five ships in the class. I've placed links to current sailings down below the description of the video. And if you wanna book either one, make sure you give me a call. I put my wedding header number right there on the screen. And there's a good reason why, is what we do is we offer additional incentives. It's amazing and our guests love it. You call in, we're gonna give you all the promotion that Royal Caribbean offers you, but in addition, we're gonna give you special savings. Right here is Jamie's Italian. Jamie's Italian is the Italian restaurant and their specialty is, is that they make their own pasta. We love it when we get on Royal Caribbean and we always stop by and have a meal at Jamie's Italian. It is part of the specialty dining, so make sure that you understand the difference between specialty and complimentary when you give us a call. Right across the hall is another specialty dining option. This is Chop's Grill, where you can get a prime cut of steak. Let's head on back more toward the front of the ship. We're gonna take a look at the Solarium Pool and the Solarium Bar. The Solarium Pool is an adult-only area. So while all the kids are hanging out in the other pools, adults, if you'd like to come over here, relax, grab a drink, this is a perfect spot for you to relax in. There's not gonna be any live music, but there is plenty of sun and plenty of drinks over here at the Solarium Bar. You can grab a stool, sit up here at the bar, or you can head on over to one of the whirlpools and relax in the heated water. There are a few cabanas that you can relax and sit in while you enjoy the views of the ship. Let's head on all the way to the back of the ship. I just wanna give you a quick preview. So we're gonna go by the solarium pool and the main pool area, head all the way to the back. Right here is Johnny Rockets. A lot of people miss this, so just keep it in mind that it's over here. Right here is the flow rider and the perfect storm water slides. And all the way to the back is the basketball court and the rock climbing wall. Let's go ahead and take a look at Johnny Rockets. Johnny Rockets is a retro style diner. They have excellent burgers and fries. You can also order a fresh milkshake. 
And the cool thing about their milkshakes is that you can get them mixed, which is what I like to do. Let's go ahead and head on to the back. We're gonna take a look at the Flow Rider. Keep in mind, folks, that when you come back here to the Perfect Storm Water Slides and the Flow Rider, you'll need to sign a waiver. So adults, when you bring your kids, make sure you come with them and have them sign or else they're going to come looking for you later on. So it's a good thing to do on the first day of the cruise. The Flow Rider is either stand up or you can lay down and do a little boogie boarding. The Perfect Storm Water Slide, check this out. There are two of them and you can race as you come on down. The Typhoon and the Cyclone are a whopping three stories tall. They go over the side of the ship and make the cruise for kids a lot more fun. It's always fun when there are water slides on board. Right on over to the side of the water slides is the Sky Climber, where kids can climb all the way up and then climb back down. They're protected by the net. There are also swings and hammocks here. Also here you'll find the Sky Pad, where they offer many different activities throughout the cruise. In front of the sky pad is the basketball court and the rock climbing wall. Keep in mind that to go into the basketball court and climb on the rock climbing wall, you will need closed shoes. Also here in the basketball court, you can enjoy activities such as dodgeball, paddle ball, and other activities throughout the cruise. The rock climbing wall is a lot of fun. There are challenges that you have to achieve as you're climbing up the wall in the form of little bells that you have to ring. If you make it all the way to the top, you're going to ring that last bell and everyone is going to clap. Let's head on all the way up to the front of the ship. If you look down, you'll see a lounging area. And then all the way at the front is Mariner Dunes. This is the mini golf. There are many different types of little places where you can hit the ball like a lighthouse and a bridge. There is no reservation required and it is complimentary. Let's head on down to the lower decks. I'm going to give you a quick preview of deck five. Right here is guest services and the shore excursions desk. Next crew. Right here is the bamboo room. Over to the left is the English pub. Over to the right right here is cafe promenade. And to the left is the playmaker sports bar. And all the way here at the front of the ship is the star lounge. Let's head on back. So we're gonna first take a look at the shore excursions desk. While you're on board, if you need to book an excursion, you can come here or you can do it via the app. Right next to the shore excursions desk is Next Cruise. Folks, while you're on board, if you want to book another cruise, make sure you stop on by. They offer excellent incentives. Then across is guest services. If you have any questions, they will help you out with whatever you need. Let's head on in to the Royal Promenade. The first place that we're going to take a look at is the bamboo room. Take a look at the decor. It's a tiki style Polynesian type lounge and bar. There are comfortable little tables and chairs to sit and relax in. Across the hall is the English pub. It's good to know that at night and on sea days, you can come on in here, grab a nice pint of Guinness and listen to live music. You can either sit inside or you can sit outside on the promenade. Right up ahead is Cafe Promenade and the ice cream shop. Grab premium scoops of ice cream or a nice shake or you can head on over here into Cafe Promenade and get complimentary sandwiches, cookies, cakes. It's an excellent spot to stop by in the morning and grab a complimentary coffee and a croissant. Right across from Cafe Promenade is Playmaker's Sports Bar. Nice spot to come in and catch a game. You can play a game of pool, foosball, sit over here at the bar, or just grab a table and chair. All the way to the front is the Star Lounge. Here you can enjoy many different activities throughout the entire cruise. They also hold special events and parties here. Late night, you can enjoy live music. You can sit over here at the bar. There's really comfortable stools and there are many different couches and comfortable places to relax. In front of the Star Lounge is the library. Most people, when they come into the library, they either use it to play cards or jump on the internet for a little bit. Let's head on down a deck to deck four. I'm going to give you a preview. To the left here is Boleros. Right here is the Casino. Over to the right is Schooner Bar. 
over to the left is Izumi, and all the way to the front is the Royal Theater. So let's head on back. Right over here to the left is Boleros. This is the Latin nightclub. If you hear loud music, singing, and dancing, it most likely is coming from Boleros. And if you get tired at Boleros, check this out. Right across the hall here is Starbucks, so you can grab yourself a double espresso. Heading straight ahead, you're gonna go right into the casino. It's a full service casino. So you're gonna find plenty of slots, hard tables, you can get into different kinds of tournaments. There are blackjack tournaments. There are Texas Hold'em tournaments. There's also a really cool bar right here in the casino. A lot of times I'll like to come and grab a drink at the bar and not even gamble. Just see what's going on all around me because it is an action-packed area. Right outside the casino is Schooner Bar. Schooner Bar is that special place that you're gonna wanna come and enjoy the piano player playing music where everyone sings along, has an excellent time, and just enjoys the evening. Right across from Schooner Bar is Izumi. This is the Abachi Grill and Sushi Restaurant. The Abachi Grill is where the chefs cook the food right in front of you. You will be seated with other parties, so just keep that in mind. A lot of times it's a lot of fun just to hang out with other people and enjoy the night. All the way to the front is the Royal Theater. Here you'll enjoy magic shows, musicals. Also, if you book one of the shore excursions by the cruise line, then you will most likely meet up in here in the morning, which makes it very convenient. On certain nights, you'll also watch the comedians perform here. Let's head on down to deck three. We're gonna take a look at the main dining room. So the main dining room spans three decks. So you'll get here from deck three, four, or five. Look on your key card. It will indicate on which deck you're supposed to enter. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And there are three dining times for dinner. There is an early, late, or my time dining. It's easier and more convenient to do the my time dining if you're not really sure at what time you want to dine. Over here is the art gallery. They do sell art on board, so make sure you're aware that there are auctions. All of the art you see is available for purchase. Over here is the photo gallery. This is where you'll find the photos that the photographers took of you while you were on board. And then over here is Studio B. This is the ice skating rink. You'll enjoy amazing ice skating shows. A good tip is that make sure you reserve the show before you get on the ship. When you book your cruise, you're gonna do an online check-in. When you do the online check-in, you can start to reserve everything. And it's very important that you do this. Also keep in mind that on a sea day, the ice skating rink is open for ice skating. Let's head on up to deck 14. This is Ellington's. This is a nice spot to come on in and enjoy live jazz performances at night. There's a really cool bar right here and panoramic views of the main pool area. During the day, it's a fun spot just to come on in and relax and enjoy a drink. Over here is the Diamond Club. This is the private area for Diamond Club members. After you've completed 80 cruise points, you can enjoy this exclusive area and use the amenities. Let's head on over to the spa. Over here, you're gonna find the spa and the fitness center. Over to the left is the hair salon. Ladies, if you'd like to get a pedicure or your hair done while you're on board, that's available to you. A lot of ladies like to come in here and get their hair done before formal night. Over here is the fitness center. There are plenty of classes that are offered throughout the cruise in the fitness center. One is spinning, other is yoga. It's a good idea to come on in the first day of the cruise, check it out, see what they offer. You can also find plenty of machines, stair masters, treadmills, free weights, and many other types of exercise equipment. Thank you for joining me on the tour. This is Jason, I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to get the best rate guaranteed. Give me a call. Also, remember that I've placed links to current sailings down below the description of the video. Have a blessed day.